engine's name was Henry. His driver and fireman argued with him, but he wouldn't move. He said, No, no, I shan't come out so that the rain will spoil my lovely green paint with red stripes. No. The guard blew his whistle till he had no more breath and waved his flags till his arms ached. But Henry stayed in the tunnel and blew steam at him. Go away. Go away. I'm not going to spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes for you. The passengers came and argued too. But Henry would not move. No. No. A fat director who was on the train told the guard to get a rope. Um, fetch a rope, will you? That's right. Now, Henry, we will pull you out. But Henry only blew steam at him and made him wet. They hooked the rope on and all pulled except the fat director. Um, my doctor has forbidden me to pull, don't you know? They pulled and pulled and pulled, but still Henry stayed in the tunnel. They tried pushing from the other end. The fat director said, Run, the two. Three, push. But he didn't help himself. He said, My doctor has uh, forbidden me to push. They pushed and pushed and pushed. But still Henry stayed in the tunnel. At last, another train came. The guard waved his red flag and stopped. The two engine drivers, the two firemen, and the two guards went and argued with Henry. Look, Henry, it's stopped raining. Yes, but it'll begin again soon. And what will become of my green paint with red stripes then? So they brought the other engine up. And it pushed and puffed. And puffed. And pushed as hard as ever it could. But still Henry stayed in the tunnel. So they gave it up. And the fat director told Henry, We shall leave you there for always and always and always. They cut a new tunnel through the hill. They took up the old rails. And they built a big brick wall in front of Henry. Now Henry can't get out. And he watches the trains rushing through the new tunnel. He's very sad because no one will ever see his lovely green paint with red stripes again. But I think he deserved it, don't you?